What's going on guys? This is again once again a Strino Chasers kind of video. Hopefully y'all can, can see me with the light. It's a dark rainy day, but hey, it is what it is. I'll put it that way. So today's video, I just just listened to a video again, which is everybody. I'm not gonna play the video this time because of just the length and brevity of it. But it was a video by two ladies about one guy. And it's not the type of video you think of. You know, any usual, oh, he's a jerk or whatever. These ladies were saying, was calling out and saying, hey, y'all should date this guy. And, and, and uh, basically they friend zone the guy. Hi. They say, in a video they were like, oh, he's attractive. He's, he's, a, he's the sweetest guy you ever would meet. He, he uh, look at that look at that hair. He's such a nice person. He got his stuff together. He's trying to be a neurosurgeon. He was 26 years old, and the two women was like, ah. Oh. And I was like, wait a minute, let me get this straight. And I saw the guy. The guy was talking to. He's a nice guy. No disrespect to the man. The man had a nice guy and a nice, you know, aura around him. But the funny part of kill me is, you two ladies basically say all this stuff about this guy a nice guy whatever and all this stuff but y'all don't date him okay my question is why not that is literally like what uh, um, the comment section of the video was funny because they were like why you're not dating the guy he's like oh. the ladies one of the girls was like i'm not in my mental i'm not in the right mental state right now and he's like but you're on hinge so you are looking for somebody but you got a nice guy right beside you and you don't want, and you don't want to date him. The guy looked, I, I said, the guy looked, um, the guy looked, um, looks, you know, a little above average. He's going to be a newer surgeon. He has a career, he has a job. He makes a good, good, hell of a lot of money. But because the guy is a regular guy and being himself and not, you know, you know, not the toxic, not, not, not trying to like be the bravado and everything else. These girls are like, yeah, I don't, y'all do that stuff i said people drive weird sorry about that you're on my bumper and then you and then you don't want to break up to the last second but anyway so yeah you have a nice guy who has a career who has money who is not a broken he's an immigrant like me who came to came to america made a, uh made some good money got, got a good career job yeah I would say he, he exudes. Um, he, he, I don't. I didn't see him looking like he's like a, um, a creepy dude. He's not. Cause again, both women like oh, he looks good. I look at his hair, and, and they will get no got uh, goo goo gaga all over it. But two of y'all could have dated date a good man. None of them are dating nobody right now. They're single, but they're looking for somebody else. One one in the comments asks. Why, why you can't date this guy? She's like, I can't, I, I would never. Okay, so if you would never date the guy, why would you wanna recommend him to other people? If he's such a good guy, such a sweetie, such a sweetie pie, uh, who's not toxic, who's, who has, one of, the first, one of the girls said he was emotionally intelligent. Now, with all of that, I could, I understand. There are women, you, you said you're attra he's a very attractive guy, but maybe not attractive to you. Or there might not be any sexual tension between them. And that's the thing that, you know, like I, women always get men like, oh, all men want to do is have sex. Okay, that's just what's programmed into a, a thing. Now, yes, we have to control a libido, like I've said multiple times, guys. You gotta control it. It will get you in trouble. But women have that say, and that's what I said. Women like to play the game like, oh, it's just a men thing. No, it's a female thing too. It's the way we were built. You don't have that pull for him sexually. So that's, that. I mean, that's from what I've seen, that's the reason that you don't want to, um, you don't want to be with the guy. He's a good guy, but not for you. Okay. And again, women friend zone men men that's good for them more than men now men do the same thing too like i stated but women do it more than men from what from from all 
intelligent person looking and seeing stuff from you know and a lot of evidence but I saw another video the day before which I'll do that on its own where this woman's like oh why a black man can't uh, why black dating dating a black man is this this and this and when she explained what the black man the last black man she dated I'm like what the hell of course that happened why you why you women did these losers and think oh oh all black men are this they give you the information up front and you still consider dating them that's crazy but again that's gonna be his own video I'm just stating up that it is kind of crazy that you guys you, you guys got a good guy he has a job he makes a ton of money again neurosurgeon and everything but nope they, they two women both of them say oh y'all should date him he's a nice guy blah 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 but again most of the guys in the comment section was like well why y'all don't date him because y'all are single it's not like y'all dating anybody else according to what you said in your own profiles in the video so it's just funny how human nature plays out. And a lot of women like to say, oh, yeah, the, the guys are bad, the guys toxic, whatever, but that's the ones most of y'all go, not all, but most women go towards. And then say, oh, guys are trash, you guys, whatever. Stop dating trashy guys. That's basically my advice to you. If a guy says something and he lied to you up front about stuff, you, you already don't know, well, this ain't gonna work out. I mean, the example of the lady I was talking about, she's like, oh, um, you know, women are, and I, I'm, I'm saying this right now, guys, this is advice to guys. I've seen this on dating profiles. And I'll tell you right now, I, if I see that, I'm not, I, I know for sure it's not gonna work out because of picky and all the stuff like that. If I see on your dating profile, I want a man to have a car. I mean, he was not, do, you know, has, has his job and all that stuff like that. Well, I would think think you want an adult if you find a man that don't have a job and whatever now again if he's laid off of a job or whatever like he had a job and he laid off and everything and you could prove that different story i you will catch people in their bad times i get that because i have a friend who did say that just like these guys don't have a job I'm like how are you finding these guys that don't have jobs where y'all find these guys like as soon as i don't have a job I'd be like, okay, well, nice knowing you. Bye-bye. I don't want a female that don't have a job. And it's just so weird, but I see the profile. Has to have a job. <laughs> Basically, they, 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 they list out stuff like, again, an adult. I'm like, yeah, that's what it is, adult. Including when I say, oh, I have my own car and house and all that stuff like that. Again, apartment and everything. I'm like, okay. You're an adult. You want a cookie? That's what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm seeing this in like in my 30s and stuff. At 20s, I could give a little bypass because it's rougher. But in the 30s, y'all still doing this stuff? Nah. Nah, I, I, I leave that for the streets. I ain't even gonna bother with you guys on that, that nonsense. So guys, if you see that in their dating profile, they try to describe an adult to you, like, a, like just a basic material, then you know that they have some bad pickers and it might be some guys in the past that you just don't want to mess with, whatever, including if they have a child. If they don't have a child, okay, I give you I, I, I give you a benefit of the doubt. But including if they have a child and they're like, oh, you have to have the bare minimum, then uh, be careful of that, seriously. And ladies, yeah, if a guy's a nice guy, he's a sweet guy, he's a good guy, that might be a good guy. They for men too. If he's a good guy, 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 that might be a good guy to you as well, too. Consider it. Now, if you're not attracted to the person, then I get it. I understand that part. You can't. But I'm just saying in the video, the ladies were like, oh, well, he's attractive. He's so good looking. I'm like, well, if he's, again, if you're not attracted to him, I understand that. Certain things make you go for certain things. I get that. But if you say all the stuff and you don't want to date the man, that's a different story altogether. You know what I mean? Think about it like that. 
because this guy could be again you could be your husband and you could make good money one and again just give it one black woman one one girl was white the other girl was asian and they were good looking women i'm not gonna deny it but but again kind of weird that the guy the, the, you know, the guy's a sweet guy but they didn't want to like, um, date the guy so hey it's just weird how that works out Nice guys does finish last in most cases. And again, I've felt that many times too. But I've been nice and respectable or whatever. But it just, for me, I just, I have a, you know, I have a live Sarah Sarah life. Like, I don't care. Like, if once you mess up, I showed you that I'm a nice person. And then you're like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And then you break up with me or go, whatever, go someplace else. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Great. I'm not bothering you no more. And it's funny, many, many, um, many new women I've dated have come back and like, oh, are you, are you single? Are you this? Are you that? I'm like, oh, no, 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 don't try that. You had your shot. You shoot your game. You didn't like it. Then you went someplace else and you found out, oh, the dating market is, is crappy. Good. I didn't do you wrong. I didn't cheat on you. I didn't hit you. didn't give you no verbal abuse, physical abuse, none of that stuff. Treat you with most extra respect. But for some reason... It didn't work. For some reason, you didn't feel it. So it's all right. It's cool. And then when you found out that the date market is crappy, then you want to come back. Nah. That's why I ain't got to worry about that. No more. Thank goodness I am married. And I'm happy to, happily married so far. So yes. And sadly, I've seen some of the past people. I'm like, mm, y'all y'all live a little messy life now. But again, Sometimes the good guy is the guy that's right for you. The nice guy, I should say. Y'all say where the good men are? A lot of them, y'all friend zone. In your 20s and stuff. And when the 30s and 40s come, you're like, oh, where are the good men gone? You had them. And you got rid of them because you wasn't attracted to them. Or it was like, oh, I can't, you know, I don't see it. Well, now, you're 40 years old and you're single. And oh yeah, I'm gonna do a video about that because I've seen some videos of women saying about, oh, they all getting on me because I'm single and 40 and I don't have a child. Some people are happy with that. And here's the thing I'll say to that quickly. Yes, if you're single and you, have, and you don't have a child in your 40s and late 30s and 40s and you're happy, this is your best life as you say. Okay, great. I see a contradiction coming up, but that's great. I'm not like the red pillars who say about the, the whole wall thing about the whole wall whatever but i do know that i love it like, oh well so, you know, so, so dana says this is the best women will be blah 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 most of them by women and um the bias is most of them is by women that you know who single don't got child whatever and also that's one and two they're not long studies when you go long studies like years and years and decades Women, women right now are the most depressed, are most, are the most uh, antidepressant pills and everything right now is women, including those in the Gen X generation because they're most of them are single, they ain't got children, and again, they're finding out, man, it does suck not to have somebody to pay some bills. It does suck that if I get sick or something, nobody's here to take care of me, take me to the doctor, take me to whatever. I gotta call cousins and them, and I gotta, they gotta fit me into their schedule. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying all women go through this. I'm a good, but a very good amount by the numbers, a good of an amount. So, anyway, just wanted to pass on that video quickly for y'all. I'll catch y'all the next one. Remember, people, uh, people are stupid. Individual smart. Be that smart individual. This is your boy Tick for Project Over Mike and Straight No Chasers.